So most of us want our Fire Sticks, Fire TV devices, even your Android devices running faster. But there seems to be a bit of confusion. Everybody thinks straight away, let's make our device run quicker, let's go clear the cache. Okay, let's clear the cache on all the apps. That will make everything right, that will make everything run quicker. And this isn't really exactly true. Yes, whereas cache can be used to clear, to fix an app which isn't running correctly, or to maybe even clear some space on your device if you don't use certain apps very often. But what an app is actually designed to do is it builds a cache to make it run faster. Okay, so your cache is installed on your app or onto your device from your app to make the applications run faster, load quicker and be smoother and run at their best. That's the simple, keeping it as simple as possible. So application cache is there for the sole purpose to make it open quicker, load faster and actually run at its best. So every time you clear that cache, that application then has to re-download the cache because majority of the time it will re-download -re the same amount of stuff. So it will re-download and it will make it harder for it to load up, take a little bit longer, that sort of thing. We're gonna go into this correctly in a second and I'm gonna show you some proper ways to speed up your device. And I'm gonna show you when and how you should delete your cache all on one video. Before we do that though, if you can, do remember to hit that subscribe button. We do everything streaming, whether it's Roku, Fire Stick, Android TV, whether it's streaming apps, VPNs, tips and tricks like this, supercharging that device, making it run better. And if you're a regular watcher here, do remember to hit that bell button. If you've already subscribed, ring that bell because you can turn on all notifications and drop me your thoughts on this video underneath as well. So, what are we talking about? On every application, when you go to your settings, go to application, you can look at manage installed applications and what you will see is these applications, no matter what they are, have a cache on them, okay? Um, it's probably be behind my head. You'll see the cache down there on all these applications. Um, this one has 15.99 megabytes. The zone 16.38 kilobytes or varies. Ones you use often might have more. Um, ones you use not so often might have less. And obviously ones you've cleared will have a bit less as well. But for instance, apps like App Store, Amazon Photos, Amazon Music, which I do not use at all. I will happily clear that cache. Okay, get rid of it. And then I can save that space on my device. Okay, but apps like say Netflix has a cache of 56.3 megabytes. We can clear it. Okay, it's gone. Then we can open up Netflix, which I use quite a lot. It will open up and actually as it loads, it will load a little bit slower once it gets into the next stage because it will need to find its files to display to you. So it has to download it again. So for instance, I'll go into my account. We're in here and what we will do, we will exit again. And if we go back to our applications, manage installed applications, back to Netflix, There we go, it's got a cache again already. It's instantly downloading that information back down again. But if an application isn't running well, it's not working too well, and it keeps freezing up, by all means, come and clear this cache, get it cleared. But if the application's working well, loading fast, leave the cache alone, okay? There's no need to clear it unless you urgently need that space. But all you're gonna do is clear some space that when you open it again, it's gonna refill anyway, or you might not even have room for again. But again, if it's an application you're not using, clear the cache by all means, because you're not opening it to replace that cache. If it's one you use regularly, only clear the cache if it's not working correctly. Okay, I hope that cleared that a little bit up again, because I see a lot about it. But there is a couple of apps which can help you speed up your device. Okay, the first one is this Speed Toolbox by Tech Doctor UK. This is brilliant. This one's designed to change all your animation speeds and scales around. So what you will find is, as you scroll down, you can change these and it will speed up this movement around, okay? Where it does the animation. So personally, when you do these, you can change these right down to zero 
animation scales and the animator animation scale personally i prefer this one actually at about 0 0.3 and that one um, you don't want to put on zero because that messes up your mouse toggle on something like downloader okay you can save it so what you'll see now is it's very snappy on all your screens everything like that as you scroll down there's no animation much quicker moves well things like that to get this app you need to go to my website to get it um we can show you that in a minute another one which is very good to run is the background apps and processes list you can go to your magnifying glass on that one if you type in here background apps and processes install it then open it up what this will show you is apps which run in the background i don't need to be at the top here anymore do i apps which run in the background so all these are running in the background of mine although the only two apps i've opened today is netflix and the td uk speed change okay so what you can do is click close all apps what i'm going to ask you though if you are testing this one out let me know in the comments how many apps you have open you click close all apps then you can force stop them push back force stop them push back force stop them push back uh force stop that doesn't matter push back launch manager is a bit different force stop vlc push back and you're back to here again some people go in there and they clear cache every time they force stop it again you're just going to slow the loading and opening of your application next time so that will also help your device by less running in the background okay um we're going to get this td uk speed toolbox now and to do that we need to do it via the downloader app to do that you need to go to the magnifying glass and type in here downloader d o w n and you'll see downloader underneath you can click it and you see how quick it loads through to that because we've changed the speed scales you can then get this installed once installed go back across to your settings go to my fire tv developer options if you do not have developer options you click on about you click on your name fire tv stick 4k or whichever version you're on seven times you will then become a developer mine obviously says no need you're already a developer so you'll become a developer you push the back button and it will be there for you open up those developer options turn adb debugging on and install unknown apps you need to turn it on for that downloader app okay so it's turned on once that's on back to your home screen you need to find the downloader app so we're going to find that downloader app the one we just installed this one here if you don't see yours just go to these three squares and the plus click down to my apps and you will find it in here open it up and now we're going to go to my website to go to my website you can type in here either docsquiffy.com forward slash downloads or 75726 75726 all that information is linked underneath in the pinned comment and in the description you could also test the website out on your mobile phone if you want to go there on your mobile phone to download any applications which we have on the site as well click go and that will load through for us while you're waiting remember it's perfect time to hit that subscribe button drop me a comment of your thoughts underneath tell me i'm talking too fast like many people do all the time okay we're now on my website we're going to scroll down as you see it's quite quick because i sped it up and um, you might not want it as fast as i did you can go down to downloaders and tools and you want the speed toolbox okay you click it click close if any adverts come up scroll down big gray button hard to miss hit download and then behind my head again you can click on install click done and then click delete we don't want to store that file it's now downloaded brilliant we've done everything we've installed the td uk speed toolbox we're going to go to our applications again we're going to go to my apps and we're going to find it in here mine is at the top here like i said open it up accept any permissions again this bottom one don't change it to zero 0 0.5 is probably your best the other two can be zero hit save 
and you're perfectly done. If anyone wants to know how to use this, something similar to this on Android TV, I will link that video underneath for you as well. I've done one a couple of days ago. Um, I will link it underneath, but it is on the channel. And that will make your Fire Stick much quicker. Those two apps, plus not clearing your cache all the time to help those applications load faster when needed. So here we have it. That's the video I was talking about for Android TV for it. Um, we're going to link that underneath anyway, so don't worry, but do check out the channel. And before you leave, a quick word from one of our partners. On top of having the fastest device out there, what you're going to want is the most secure and safest. So I would recommend using a VPN. IP Vanish VPN is linked underneath for you. It's in the description and in the pinned comments, as we stated before. That's all under there. They are a partner of ours. They do help you stay safe online, and it's all there for you. Brilliant. I'm out of here. I've been Doc Squiffy. This is the Doc Squiffy channel. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon.